Andrew Please Lelling no. was named one of the Bostonians of the year by the yeah. Boston Globe for 2019. The other, Suffolk County DA, Rachel Rollins, yeah. who with 80% of voter support became the first black woman ever to hold the position when she was sworn in back in January. Almost immediately, she became a center of controversy for a new approach to justice, including a list of 15 nonviolent offenses, including shoplifting, drug possession, which she declared she would not prosecute. One of the highest profile test cases of that came in September after the so-called straight pride parade in Boston when several protesters were charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, charges Rollins instructed her prosecutors to dismiss. And when a municipal court judge rejected some dismissals, Rollins went to the state's highest court, asked them to intervene. She ultimately won that battle, but told us it was just one of many she'd be fighting in the weeks and months to come. I was ready for a fight. Um, the system, change is not easy. Um, everyone loves to think about change and wants it, but doesn't want to put in the work. Um, we are going through the hard work of changing a system that is operating exactly the way it was set up to, to work. Now, in light of the fact that you out of turn said, yeah, in the middle of my read there, I'll go to you first. Is this, I mean, Philadelphia, my hometown, yes. has a Rachel Rollins-like new DA. Mm -hmm. San Francisco has a Rollins-like new DA. Is this the wave of the future, this new approach to criminal justice reform? I hope so. And I know some on the panel may criticize this as social justice um, in the DA's office. But I think that... What That's what the Attorney General of the United States yes. told us, by the way. Yeah, I, I saw that. But what, what Ms. Rollins just said, I think, is pivotal which is that many people talk about change and equity, but she's actually doing the work to bring that about. You know, by the way, I should have said that 80, those weren't secrets during the campaign. Mm -hmm. That was the centerpiece That's for a exactly, campaign. Yeah. Yes. And close to 80% of people said this is what I, I want. Some of the DAs weren't happy about it. Is this the wave of the future in criminal justice? I, I think that focusing on the most important, most uh, devastating crimes and taking the limited resources that you have in a DA's office, right. that is the right way to approach it, not the smaller cases. But the thing that I will say is I think that she has to work on the public relations because when you are a store owner and when you know you 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 think that you have no protection when there is and I think that she needs to balance the important changes she's making with I think a little bit more artful messaging about what that means for the people you on mean the it's sort of that shop owner might say this is an invitation to steal well, stuff it's, from it's my the place broken, it it's the, it's the, but it's the broken oh, window it's the broken window you know you know example in in New York and other places it's Rudy those small Rudy again, Giuliani oh, those gosh. smaller crimes and I just think that this is how does she go out how does she speak to people in the neighborhood and how she messages it I you think, think it is a problem look I, I believe in the broken windows theory of policing. I believe that when you keep communities clean and, and safe, that you know, and you and you and you clean up the smaller crimes, that it prevents the bigger crimes from taking root there, and that has been proven. So you think she's to going work. too far? No. There's research. I, I don't. I don't think, that. think that it's. I don't think her approach works. I like Rachel a lot. I think she's really smart. I think she's a hot ticket, and I think she is somebody to watch politically. You for don't sure. agree with not the last part, but you don't agree with uh, her going too far here. No, I don't think it's too far. And I think we have to be careful. Broken windows, stop and frisk. I sort of put those it things works. together. Well, they both work. It works for some communities and not others. And I think it's really important that you do your research because oh, it's actually it. harmful to some communities to that approach.